Hey everyone, the highly requested video is finally here. I will be showing you all how I make my homemade Caesar dressing as well as fresh croutons. This salad is amazing and I'm sure you all will love it. So let's go ahead and get this started. For the croutons, I basically took my French bread that I made and if you want to see a video on that, I do have one already. So I just cut it and then cut it into squares and this is what I'm going to be using. There's nothing like fresh croutons, nothing like the store-bought ones at all. Once you have fresh croutons, you won't want to go back. So what I do is I just drizzle on some olive oil right over that bread. And I like doing a generous amount just because it makes them nice and crispy. I then add some pepper and also use a generous amount of pepper. Great. Then I'm going to take some salt and just sprinkle it over the top. And I like to put my fingers high up so that it goes on evenly. I also take a little bit of garlic powder, put some on my hand. I'm not going to use all of it, but I'll just use it to kind of sprinkle it on top. And if you go up high and then sprinkle it with your fingertips, you'll put on just the right amount, not too much. Because if you only add salt and pepper, it's good, but not as good as when you add some garlic powder. What I do is I just use my, my hands and I just toss it around into the olive oil, just like so. And that way everything gets even. Perfect, and now it has a gener each piece has a generous amount of salt, garlic, pepper, and olive oil. I like to separate them nicely, not touching. And then I put them at 400 degrees in the oven for about 10 minutes till they get golden. Everybody's oven heats differently, so just keep an eye on them until you learn how long to leave them in there, depending on your oven. Now we're gonna begin our Caesar dressing and I like to put it in my Nutribullet so I'm just gonna dump everything into this cup right here. I'm gonna start off with my garlic and I just toss everything, no particular order. This is minced garlic. Anybody that uses a lot of garlic, I recommend using a garlic press because it makes it a lot easier and it makes it small so that you're not biting into garlic chunks. You're gonna use two to three teaspoons of lemon and that's basically equals one decent sized lemon. I like pouring them in these because you don't get any of the season. If you do, you just take them right out. I'm also going to be using um, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sister sauce. I don't even know how to pronounce it properly, but there it is. I'm sure you get the point. And then I take about a little bit over a teaspoon of anchovy paste. I know that I don't like anchovies, but the anchovy paste gives the food a very delicious flavors. Then I'm going to take about two to three teaspoon, tablespoons of Dijon mustard and this also, it's not like you can use regular mustard because it doesn't taste the same. And then I'm going to add about one third to half a cup of olive oil. I always eyeball it for the most part, but just for filming purposes I'm measuring it for you guys. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of salt. This is a half a teaspoon, and I'm gonna add one more teaspoon, one more half a teaspoon, so it equals one teaspoon. And then I'm gonna add a generous amount of pepper. And I like grinding my pepper. Now we're gonna add one egg. I know that a lot of you may not wanna use a raw egg. I think this is a big part in making a Caesar salad. You basically dump your egg in boiling water for exactly one minute and then you put it into your mixture. Um, if you do not want to use a raw egg, then go ahead and use uh, mayonnaise instead. But I can tell you this is amazing. Make sure that you use a grade A or double A grade eggs and make sure that there's no cracks in your egg, otherwise you can get sick, have salmonella. And also when you crack your egg, try not to touch the, um, the, the shell. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my boiling water for 60 seconds. Okay, so my egg has been in boiling water for exactly 60 seconds. I'm just gonna go ahead and crack it. Before we put it in the blender, I'm gonna go ahead and put in half a cup to a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna do a half a cup. 
and then add some more cheese to the salad. Just came out of the blender in just a couple of minutes. It doesn't have to be a lot. And as you can see, there's still some chunks of Parmesan in there, which is fine because it just adds texture and it's very delicious. I love using the romaine hearts. Now, a lot of you will find it a lot easier just to buy them already pre-cut and pre-washed. But if you're going to be using the romaine hearts like I do, and you want to cut them yourself, what you want to do with the longer pieces that have a little bit of damage on the corners, you want to go ahead and just cut them like a V. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. Get rid of that. Turn it over the bottom, then cut it through the center, and then just cut it off. I think a salad should be crispy, and this is just the perfect amount of crisp when you get rid of all the ugly stuff, like this right here, the hard stuff, the soggy stuff that has, you know, damage on the top. Go ahead and toss that, and then you're left with your beautiful romaine. Now the way I do it is I do not prepare it until everybody's ready to eat. Then I go ahead and just throw in the desired amount of dressing. And in this case, I like it to be well covered, but not soggy. So you wanna just start off with a little mix. And I like using these prongs here that make it a lot easier. And make sure that every piece of lettuce has dressing. Cause I hate biting into salads that have dressings on some and not on others. So make sure you mix it very well, I think that's the key. Toss it right into our plate. Add some fresh Parmesan shaved. Perfect. And then add a few fresh croutons. And you have the perfect Caesar salad. This concludes our homemade Caesar salad video. I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you all try it, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to share your pictures as well. So go ahead and email them to us at JaniceMakeupTV at gmail.com. And I'll see y'all really soon with more videos. Take care.